How y'all doing with Pokemon since Hedgehog is not crazy? Plumbers of the Power Pro Game here. Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. As you can see, it's actually number three on, ten, on trending, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, Pokemon Direct came out today. I haven't watched it yet because it came out at 9 a.m. and I wanted to record my first reactions. So, yeah, here we are. Um. And that was complete bullshit, by the way. Yeah, no, I, I've seen this already. But, um, I did want to make a video with my reactions. They won't be, like, first impression reactions, but they are going to be very similar to my actual first reactions. And also, when I first watched this, I was in a crowd, and it was kind of loud, so I couldn't really hear it all that well. And I don't really remember too much uh, as to what happened in this direct. So, we're coming back to it. Let's watch the direct, 16 minutes and 41 seconds, here we go. I like this music, man. I do know that, you are Ishihara. Today, I would like to provide the latest news about the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. Alright. To begin... Oh, he's got an apple pencil in that little Pokeball mug. Uh, yeah, Nintendo Switch. A little pixely, a little jaggy, but overall looks real clean. Yo, these character models are looking fluid. These animations looking hella fine. Hey, same with this music. Damn. Do he? Okay, so you can like. See a see a preview. Ah, oh, God, I love the depressed lizard. Hey, Gen Five Raptors and two. Holy shit, that looks cool as heck, man. That what was that called? I forgot what it was called. Ooh, wait, are there going to be roaming Pokemon? I think there's me. I can't tell if this is just like a cinematic or like if there are actually going to be roaming Pokemon. Like in Let's Go. I hope there are, that would be cool. Oh yeah, this. I, I do remember this part. They'll talk about it later. Also, the characters animate, like their faces aren't always smiles. Hardcore man, this that that looked cool. All right, here it is. Here we go. Disco ball. Yeet. Good Giratina. We got thick Raichu here. Thick Raichu. Fries that. Yeet. All right, catch the big Gyarados in the disco ball. <laughs> I forgot about the little detail with the with the rocks. I'm loving the blending of this, like, almost Celtic violin. Here it is. Yeet! Oh my god, this music is awesome, man. That guy looks dope. He looks like another Lance. He honestly does. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da -da. Hello, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. I'm where? Where? Hi. Yo, where's the red jacket? Game Freak. Hey there, I'm Ari. What did you think of the video? It was pretty cool. It was it was pretty cool. Today, we would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices, where development is underway. Cool. I mean, we still got like 13 minutes left, so. You can take on the role of the main character. Really? Besides in the gallery region. Now wow, I did not know that. Bunny, or Sobble, the press lizard. Partner, That's my boy. You will embark on an adventure to become the champion. The depressed lizard is Your my boy. Journey will take you through vast and lush grasslands. Towns wow. in which you will find humans and Pokemon working together, and many other locations wow. filled with rich this personality. Really, this is really killing my battery. 
Pokemon I've lost like 20 minutes. I've lost like 20% in the past like five minutes. Stadiums across the Gala region are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. Yeah. So these are gyms. All right, that's confirmed. These battles is often broadcast on television in the Gala region as well. I like all these, how all these fans' the mouths don't move. Visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokemon huh, that you've me. never seen before. Yeah, new Pokemon. All right. We saw them in the in the trailer, but I, I forgot all their names. I'd like to hand it over to James, the art director. James. That's right. It's not Sugimori this game. Yeah, these things. Hello. I'm James Turner from Game Freak. Hello. I worked as you are not a robot. For these games. There are You're totally not reading off a teleprompter. That awaits you in the Gala region. But allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. All right. I'm glad. Like they the only. I'd like to show you. Woo -loo. Woo yeah, I know the internet really loves this, this guy. Pokemon's defining characteristic is its fluffy fur, yeah. which is treasured by weavers in yeah. a town in the Gala region. I like how this um this game isn't being like. First of all, like the, like Pokemon themselves are not talking the a lot about it. Pokemon. Oh yeah, Gossiflor. That's right. Gossiflor. We talked about how she looks like a basic Starbucks blonde girl. Whoa, healing properties. Yeah, this thing. I remember this thing. It's Dreadnaw. Yep. Yeah, that looks cool, man. I want, I want one of those. Allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. All right. Its vicious nature makes it a difficult Pokemon to tame. All right. All but the most experienced trainers. Yeah, that looks cool, man. That can be seen flying. Yeah, that looks awesome. Corviknight. That's what it was. Okay. It puts its skills to use when working as a flying taxi. Flying which will taxi. Take the player back to any town oh. She oh, this is how you fly in this game. Okay, no more HMs. That's... As many as okay, many that's good. No have. HMs. Some Pokemon can evolve. Wow, really? Pokemon can evolve? Coming stronger in the process. Oh, are they showing Gossiflower's evolution? Or Gossiflower? Sorry. When Gossiflower evolves. It turns into... Oh, yeah, I remember this. It's Mirror B. Eldegoss, yeah, sure. Why not? It's Mirror B. It's Mirror B. Small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. Yeah. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. All right. Looks like a cotton ball. That's all I Looks like Mirror B. Like I said, Mirror B. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region. I would hope so. Of course... You can look forward to finding many Pokemon you're already okay. familiar with. Hey, more Gen 5 representation. I hope you're as excited as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Pokemon that inhabit the Gala region. I hope they're good. Oh! Oh, I remember this. I remember this part. This is this is a really cool announcement. Pokemon is one of the thrills of the adventure. And where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Gala region is in a place called the, the Wild Area. The breath of the Wild Area. This Wild Area stretches between cities and is filled with a bunch of I do remember this announcement. This was this. See. Oh, I'm so excited Pokemon for this. Can appear depending on where you are. Okay, well. The weather is like. Yeah, I, I can't. I still can't tell if that means like they're going to be like let's go just Some of you may chilling out while in the world. Through this area, you have control over the camera. Allowing you to oh yeah! Items and yes! Far and wide in the tall grass. Oh the yes! Above, and even in the lakes, for you never know what you might find. In Camera control, man! I'm so game, excited. A new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokemon giant in size and gives it incredible. Oh strength. yeah, the thick this Pokemon. This phenomenon is called Dynamax. Dynamax. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities wow. as the battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon. For more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwao, the Iwao. planning director for the Iwao. games. Iwao. Iwao. Am I pronouncing that right? Iwao. Thick Raichu. Hi, I'm Iwao. From Iwao. Iwao. Kazumasa Iwao. Iwao. Pokemon Sword right. and Pokemon Shield. Well, you seem young. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature. That's we good. Good. It's actually good. Game Freak. Got some, got some younger people working on these now. 
Dynamax. Pokemon from the Gala region with Dynamax to not only become massive Max size, Knuckle. but also boost their power. Yeah, look at that. Look at that thick boy. All the moves they know turn into powerful Max moves. Wow. Dynamaxing can be used once per battle. Yeah. However, the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. Oh! I don't so remember hearing about that. You to choose wisely when to trigger it. What? Oh, that, that's more of a gimmick then, than like Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution like hugely impacted the meta, because then you wanted one Pokemon like a Mega Evolve. This will just, you know, you Dynamax for a little bit and then go back to normal. That's, that's kind of boring. One of these new multiplayer features is called Max Raid Battles. Like in, Pokemon like in, like in Pokemon Go? Wild Dynamax Pokemon. That's cool. So is this... In Max Raid Battles, the wild Dynamax Pokemon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. Okay, that Not might that, be a little annoying. It also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of Ooh. these four players who have teamed up for the Max Raid Battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon in each battle. So All right. coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful wild Pokemon. Okay. That, yeah. Alright, it makes it a little more challenging, because only one of them can do that. Alright. Yeah, Disco Ball, the Disco Pokeball. The Pokemon that you can take on in max raid battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild area and the state of the weather. That's cool. I, I like that. I like that, like, because, like, apparently every day the weather changes in the wild. I checked the website, by the way. Um, so you could, like, get completely new Pokemon every single day. That's really cool. Max Raid Battles features strategic, cooperative, four-player gameplay against a single Pokemon, which is a first for the main series of Pokemon games. It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality to yeah. tackle these local battles wireless. with friends in person and experience the excitement together. That is going to be fun. You can also connect with other players over the internet to hey. enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. See, I hope this has voice so chat, though. So that way you can, like, coordinate with your friends. Like, alright, I'm going down to Max. Oh yeah. Oh, oh there that I remember her. I remember her. Believe me. This guy Who's this guy? It's just an L very much like Lance. What was Leon. Leon. That's what it was. In a region where Pokémon battles are so widely enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all the more credible. His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality. Shining personality. I hope, hopefully he, like, turns no out to be the bad guy or something. He is the most prominent trainer in all of Gala. Hopefully. Maybe, maybe, maybe they'll actually try to make their stories good again. Like, black and white. His name is Hop. Hop. Who named this character? Please, please fire them. That, him and Trace, that's, Jesus. His journey oh yeah, the Rotom phone. The That's your Dex. It's the Rotom phone. Wow, he looks angry On your there. Journey, you and Hop will receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Yeah. Oh, oh, watch Professor the material Magnolia right there. The professor of the gallery Not you. Specializes in Magnolia. Because there's always got to be Sonia her. her Sonia. Sonia is prime system. waifu material, my guy. Sound advice will surely come in handy throughout your adventure. Hmm. Mm. Waifu material. Look at these camera angles, man. These are these are cool. All right, they're like they're the same as they were before. Excuse me. It's not that this is boring. It's just I'm I'm tired today. It's been it's been a, it's been a, it's been a pretty long day. The gym leaders also have extremely powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams. Nice. So you will need to counter them with some of your own. Yeah. Big Grookey. Battles between two Dynamax Pokemon Thick. are explosive and will cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to reach its peak. I wonder if this will actually affect anything. Like, like in uh, Daigyak and Sai Daigyak and Ten Sai Run, like the Japanese only. Phoenix right. There's a jury and you have to like keep them on your side or 
get them off the other team side at least. Milo. Is he like the first guy? He looks kind of like Krillin. Look forward to facing many from DBZ. Gym over Tell me I'm wrong. We've shown off quite a bit today. But I have but. one more video I would like you to see. Okay. Please take a look. I will. Just play the video and I'll take a look. What was this again? Oh, oh, right, right. Legendaries. Legendaries. That looks a little extra. This is just Suicune with a sword in its mouth. They both look very similar. Like, even down to just color schemes, they both look very similar. Whoa. Wind. When when the when the shield one uh, like forms the shield, it looks a lot less extra. The two Pokemon you saw in the video just now are in fact legendary. Yeah, Pokemon these are the legendaries. The called Zacian. Zacian. That's how you pronounce that. And Zamazenta. All right. They both look really cool. Discovering for yourself just what role Zacian and Zamazenta will play in the story. Whoa, that's some bagpipe music in the background. That's cool. I hope I'll, you enjoyed today's. Pokemon. I like bagpipes. Of course, what we revealed oh. today is just a small part of what you will find in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Alright. There are many more Pokemon and interesting characters for you to discover in the Galar region. Okay. Thank you for not showing too much this time around, guys. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Okay. I mean, what we've seen so far has definitely been Please really good. To it. What we've seen so far has definitely been cool. Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. Nice. Finally, I would like to announce Finally. the release date. Release date, right? Pokemon this Sword, November fifteenth. These boxers look dope too. Look at that. Like these ribbons floating behind them. It looks cool. Very minimalistic, but I like it. Oh. You can pre-order a special double pack. Stay tuned for more. So you can buy like both of them. That's actually pretty good. How much is that double pack? Thank you for watching. How much is that double pack? I would like to know. Okay. So, after watching that direct... Cancel, cancel, cancel. Stop. Okay. After watching the direct, um... Final impressions, uh, for the, for the direct... Great direct, by the way. Um, my impressions... Okay, uh, the direct was, like, well-paced. They introduced quite a bit of stuff. Um, my biggest thing is, like, I I was hoping for a, a situation, like, Dynamax, right? I was hoping for a situation that would change up the meta more. Like, when Me Mega Evolution came out, right, people, people complained it was kind of broken. But it changed up the meta big time. Because now you had to consider if you wanted a Mega on your team, and you pretty much had to have a Mega on your team because if you went up against someone, chances are they also had a Mega on their team. And I guess uh, ever since Gen 6, they wanted to, like, get away from Mega Evolutions because uh, I guess maybe... Game Freak thought they were too broken, or maybe the, the fans thought they were too broken, but I feel like everything they've introduced since, i.e. Z-moves, uh, and now this Dynamax feature, um, has just kind of been, you know, kind of, eh, it's just been kind of eh. Like, they, they're kind of, it feels like they're phoning it in with that. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll be good, maybe they won't. Uh, maybe, maybe the Dynamax feature will be better than I think. Uh, hopefully I'll be proven wrong. I do like how funny the Dynamax feature is, uh, where you can get, like, Pokemon like Quagsire, who looks super derpy, and just make them huge. Um, and the fun, and the cool thing is they don't, like, add any weird design quirks, they just make them big. So, I don't know, it can lead to some pretty funny stuff. Uh, and also probably some pretty terrifying stuff, like if you put, like, Haxorus in Dynamax mode... That would probably be quite quite a scare. Uh, so, yeah, that, you know, like, it's cool. Uh, I like it. I like it so far. I'm definitely picking it up. 
because I have not picked up a main series Pokemon game in a while. Um, the last time I picked up a Pokemon main series game, believe it or not, was Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. So ever since I've not bought a Pokemon main series game. Um, I did buy Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and I did not like it. Um, but hopefully this I will like. And you know what? Friendly, friendly of Rivals, hopefully Hop is less like like how or trace from uh let's go pikachu and eevee uh and or even any of the rivals from x and y i cannot remember their names for the life of me and more like the friendly rivals like barry from um from diamond and pearl or sharon and hugh or heck even bianca bianca was like bianca was fine i like bianca um and she had a cool little arc too with where she's like i want to discover myself you know uh, what I want to do, what I, you know, what I like to do, and you know what, that was actually a really cool, that was a really cool thing, um, in Pokemon, because, like, that's a pretty, at least, you know, it, I, I didn't get it back then, but now I really get that, that mentality where it's like, you know, I, maybe I need to just see the world to understand what to do with myself, so, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's just something you, you appreciate more when you grow up a little. But that whole arc with Bianca was really nice. Uh, Sharon's whole arc of, like, trying to find himself and stop trying to be just, like, the strongest trainer around kind of thing was also a cool uh, idea. So overall, yeah, Black and White had some good uh, things, um, good rivals. Hugh was pretty good even when he stopped talking about his sister's purloin for like five seconds. And then um, Barry was also really cool. Uh, I like Barry's whole thing where he's pretty much ADHD. Um, so I like Barry. He's cool. Uh, and then other than that, that's kind of it. I hope Hop... First of all, I hope you can change his name. And second, I hope Hop is a better uh, better rival than the more recent rivals we've been getting. And I hope there's more to the story. The champion seems like he might be, might be the catalyst for something bigger and better in the story department. So hopefully he is. Um, and yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like down below, comment below how hype you are for Pokemon Sword and Shield, and uh, if you're going to pick them up, which one are you going to pick up? Um, I'll also, when the games come out, I'll actually link, leave my friend code uh, in the description section of the first video I post about them when they come out, which I'm going to try to uh, record them when they come out. Uh, I'm going to try to record a gameplay video. Gameplay of them. And, uh, what else is there? Subscribe to Gilders when new videos come out and hit the bell to get notifications every single time. Join the notification squad as soon as videos come out. You'll get a little notification that the videos come out. And, um, share with your friends. I'm a bad teacher to research myself. So guys, in short, be sure to leave like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Um, uh, this has been the Pokemon Direct. I'm the Power Gamer. Thank you all for watching. My lights are out.